tonight on Be Something Wonderful, how to deal with thoughts of doubt and fear. This is big. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I heard from one of our subscribers that said, Tom, I, what do I do when negative thoughts come up? Because I feel like I'm getting into my wish fulfilled, but then I have doubts and, I, and then th fearful thoughts come up and then I start getting anxiety. What do I do with those? I, I, I don't know really where to move from there. Well, guys, we're going to unpack this tonight and more. I've talked a lot about thoughts and fear in previous videos, but I want to come at from it from a different angle tonight. A Course in Miracles talks about that there's only really one choice, and it's not even a choice, right? It's a, the choice is between love or fear, and really love is the only choice. So in other words, when those doubtful thoughts come up, when those fearful thoughts, you, you, we're almost presenting it like there, there's a choice that we have to make, or what we have to think about what we have to do with them. And there's only one choice. It's to move to the, to, the, to the loving thoughts, right? To not give any consciousness, any life to those thoughts. But let's unpack this a little bit more. There's really only ever one choice. And it's not really even a choice. It's love or fear, right? It's a choice between that which gives you nothing and that which gives you everything, right? These thoughts of doubt and fear come up. But we know now that love is the only thing that's real, that if God is ultimate reality and God knows nothing of lack, knows nothing of doubt, knows nothing of fear, then those can't be real. Because when God, when, when God desires something, when God knows something, God becomes it. And it's impossible for God to be anything but perfection and wholeness and divinity. So God can't, so lack can exist. Do you hear this, guys? It's, it, there's no choice. It's between doubt and fear and, 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 and those type of negative thoughts give you nothing. Love gives you everything, right? This is what Jesus said. Get behind me, Satan. You are, an, you are a stumbling block to me. For you, are not set, you, if, for you are not setting your mind on God's purposes, but man's. Right? Hear this. Man's meaning the 3D world, right? Where, where doubt is possible, where fear is possible. It's not Satan. Satan are, are just negative thoughts, right? They're thoughts of doubt and anxiety. That's what the Bible means. That's the metaphysical meaning of Satan, of evil. It's thoughts of negativity, of fear, right? They exist in consciousness for sure, right? But, but you get to choose which thoughts to entertain. You get to choose where to put your attention and your awareness. Hear this, right? And as you do rise up in consciousness, you really start rising above those thoughts. You see, you, they start coming up less and less, right? You're always choosing between the greater and the lesser while you believe in the possibility of duality and separation. So while we're in the 3D world, there's always going to be the possibility of those negative, doubtful, or fearful thoughts, right? But you get to choose, and there's really no choice at all. There's only one choice. Is this love? If it's not, unlike love, then it's the, there's, no, there's no other choice to be made but love. But let's unpack this a little bit more. God, infinite spirit, only knows love, right? God is always one, whole, complete, and perfect. God is changeless. So it, it's impossible for God to be a house divided, right? God can't know anything unlike itself. So God cannot know lack. God cannot know fear. That's how we know, hear this, that's how we know that those thoughts are not real. They're not reality. And how do we know? Well, first of all, they don't feel good, right? Ultimate reality feels like love. It feels like clarity. It feels like peace. It feels like joy, right? So what God knows, God becomes. And, and, and that is reality, ultimate reality. That's truth. That's the, that's the eternal truth. It's the changeless truth. That's why it's impossible to know lack, fear, or doubt in any form. That's why, right? That's why it's impossible for God to know lack, fear, or doubt in any form. 
The fact that you see it, you know that it's not real. You know that it's a creation. It's an illusion, right? You've created the illusion of fear, lack and doubt by believing that, that what, believing that the choice is possible, right? We believe that there is a choice there, right? And as long as we're looking from, uh, from the 3D perspective, from the possibility that we're separate from God or separate from that wholeness, that completeness, that peace and that love and that divinity, then there is a choice to be made, right? But, there, but really, as A Course in Miracles says, that there's only really one choice to be made and that's love, right? Anything unlike love isn't real, right? And, and here's what I like. Uh, Jesus talks about this in a, par a parable. And it's the, when he compares the kingdom of heaven, but this time he's comparing the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea and gathering fish of every kind. Hear this. This is in Matthew 13, 47. The kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea and gathering fish of every kind. Well, we know that the kingdom of heaven is that harmony between your lower mind and your, and your higher mind. It's that peace, it's that joy, it's that, it's that love that has no opposite, right? And the dragnet is the conscious mind, right? So the kingdom is like a dragnet, your, your conscious mind that's cast into the sea or that divine substance, right? That unconditioned consciousness. And it gathers thoughts, fish, thoughts of every kind, positive and negative, loving and fearful, good and bad, right? Thoughts of every kind. So the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet. Your conscious mind is like a, a net cast into that unconditioned consciousness or that divine substance, and it gathers thoughts of every kind. As long as we're in this 3D world, we think it's possible to have those type of thoughts. So we will, we will net them, right? When we cast a net, positive or negative. A divided mind catches every kind of thought. Hear this. Right? God doesn't have a divided mind. God is one mind. God is, God is, is, is one love. So lack, negativity, uh, uh, thoughts of fear, thoughts of doubt are not possible with God. But with man, with us in the 3D world, it's possible. A divided mind catches every kind of thought. It's a house divided. God can never be a house divided, right? So, and when it's filled... Here's the second part, and when it's filled, the net, the drag net that's cast, or in other words, the conscious mind. When the conscious mind is filled, they gather the good fish, the good thoughts, into containers. And what do the containers represent? That represents your higher consciousness, that greater subconsciousness, right? Your soul, that greater, that greater higher you, right? That inner being. You grab the good stuff and, 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 and let that, through to your subconscious or to your soul, to that higher consciousness, right? But the bad, they threw away. Hear this. So they threw away the thoughts that weren't positive, weren't of love, right? Weren't of wholeness. And they threw away all the other ones. The they, they threw away all the doubt, the fear, right? So separate the loving thoughts from the fearful and doubtful thoughts, right? Two thoughts cannot occupy the same space or mind at the same time. That's why when you think in that divinity, when you think in that, that unlimited prosperity, that unlimited abundance of God, then, then, then other thought, then the thoughts of doubt can't enter. It's only when you, when you slip from that thought and then you open the, the, you open the door or you allow a choice to be made that there, that there, and you create this illusion that there's a choice between loving thoughts and thoughts of unlike love where you have to make a choice. That's what we're talking about, guys. It's really about creating space for loving thoughts, right? That is how to deal with um, thoughts of fear and doubt. It is big. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button. Like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.